Today would be lesson five in the Dandao saber form of Master Guo Lingying. In lesson four, we did a preliminary exercise to uh, get ready for this uh, move that comes out of the sixth form, the Dandao. Uh, so let's uh, take it from where we were in lesson four. Uh, the, I did do a video of showing variations of this uh, move uh, as more free form. To show the difference, difference between free form and um, Dalu six form, but uh, this will be the next progression in a line of lessons in the actual six form. So in uh, preliminary exercise, I show you uh, from the cat stance and coming up into uh, just kind of more of a vertical position with the with the um, block and then the wrap and then. Uh, coming dropping down and then stepping forward into the bow stance as you do the slice and the turn back. And I just had you come back to the starting position. So in the lesson four, it looks like this, the block, the unwrapping, drop down, step and the slice and then come back. So I'm going to show you how it looks in uh, form. In the Dalu, the direction will be here. Um, at some point, I think the next lesson, after we get to the first uh, last turn, whole, uh, the whole second section, then I'll do a review of how the whole form is. But for now, uh, to conserve time, I'm just going to show each move uh, individually. and. Uh, if you need to see where the for, uh, move is in the form, you can go back to the videos that presented showing the whole form. So, so in the it's going to come out of a the, the last move into hop in here. So from here, uh, instead of just coming with a block and vertical into upright position, you want to come up into the crane stance and with the knee up as you do the block. So that's the difference in between the perimeter exercise and uh, the move in the dandao. So from here into the crane stance with the knee, blocking to the knee with a sword, come up and then do your horizontal slice. So again from here, this time come up to the crane stance with the knee up and do the block, wrap, Unwrap and slice. One more time. Come up to the block and the crane. Unwrap, drop down. Do the horizontal slice and turn back with your arm extended. One more time. From the cat stance, come up. So from here, um, I'm going to show you how it looks in the direction that it'd be done in. But so I'll turn so that you can get a better view. So you do a block behind you as you raise your knee. You do the unwrap, the wrap, and then strike with the blade hand. So I'll do them together. First move. Second move. Okay. First move. Second move. So as I do the presentation, it's because I'm facing in different directions. 
you might be easy to get confused in what direction the actual moves are in the fixed form, the Dalu. So I'm going to do them in the direction that they are in the Dalu. Again, we're using the clock phase where we have 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, uh, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So, so as we end in, into the hop, here we'll be facing in the 3 o'clock direction. So we're going to do the block, and then the horizontal slice, I'll be facing about the 1 o'clock position. If they do the slice behind me and the blade hand, I'll be facing the six o'clock direction. And as I turn to do the crane and the kick, I'll be facing the one o'clock direction and then the one o'clock direction for the six, for the second kick. So I'm facing the opposite direction to show you uh, more details of the uh, second move because normally if I'm here and I'm doing the blade hand in this direction, you really can't see what's happening. So I'm going to face in this direction with the opening tap in order to show you uh, what it looks like. So from here, we'd be facing the opposite, uh, opposite direction, but this is for uh, clarification of the, of the view. So from here, we're going to do the block and the crane, then the horizontal slice. And so now, because of the direction I'll be facing, I'll be doing the move into uh, facing the camera. So you do the slice, the wrap, and then the blade hand. So again, do that again from here. We're going to do the crane block and horizontal slice, and then come back into because we're going off on number the one o'clock here. And then from here, we're going to go to do the slice behind the wrap and then the blade hand. So one thing to note in the presentation of that empty hand strike is from here you wait to do the final wrap here before you do the blade hand uh, it's important because if you do the blade hand too soon then you don't have the power and the root to do the strike. So you need to wait till you do that wrap on the second one. Wait till I do the wrap, and then the step, and then the blade hand. So one more time. Here, do the crane and the block, horizontal slice. Then the slice behind, wrap, root, Blade hand. So you do it in this direction here. So from here, you're going to do the crane and the block and the horizontal slice. This time we're going this way. We're going to do the strike down block, the wrap. And then the blade hand. So for the third move from this position here, you want to turn your foot and as you come up together for the block, the knee will come up into the crane stance. You want to unwrap and as you slice up, the sword is going to come up like an uppercut and turn the forward at the end. Like that. Up, come in, press forward. Up, come in, press forward. So from here, turn, come up into the crane as you do the sword block 
wrap as you start to step out. And as you step out, the sword will come up as you do the straight leg kick. So just doing the footwork looks like this. From here, turn, crane, step, scissors kick, back down into the cap. So take this step by step. From here, turn your foot so that you don't have to pivot as you're doing the crane. And as you come up with a block, do the crane, then do the wrap. And as you step forward with his foot getting ready to do the straight leg kick, you're going to come here. And the hand this time will follow the sword rather than doing reverse. Okay. So again, let's take it, break it down from here. This position after the blade hand strike, turn the foot, get ready to do the crane and the block. And then wrap. And then as you step forward, uppercut, straight big kick, you come back down to the cap. Remember to do that forward press as you come down into the cap stance. So, bow stance, turn the foot, crane and block, wrap, step, straight big kick, back into the cap. Here, both stance. Turn the foot, crane and block. Wrap, step. So you want to come up into here. That's the third move. From here, turn the foot, block and crane stance. Step, kick into the cap. I think a good way to practice this is to, uh, again, break it down uh, and take the most difficult uh, parts that uh, have to coordinate together to uh, practice in individually. So you kind of wrote in the timing. And so again, from uh, this position here, when you turn and you do the, the crane and the block, since you've already done that, that should be familiar in your mind. But the, the next move where you're doing the uppercut with the sword and then turn at the same time that you're doing the scissors kick um, might be a more difficult part of this lesson. So uh, if you kind of break those uh, things down from here, do the wrap and then just kind of relax and just kind of feel the rhythm of the move. Again, the sword is not meant to be manhandled, it's meant to have its own weight and your body movement with the sword is coordinated. So by just kind of playing uh, with this uh, here, because you're right, you'd be right here, and then you'd be moving into this position here. So if you kind of break it down where the difficult part of the move is, I think uh, you'd really be better off. So uh, in this kind of addendum, I'm gonna show you kind of from here, just kind of stepping, and then just kind of like relax and just, Kind of get the feeling of swinging the sword the same time that you do the kick. And again, um, the body can only control one or two things at the same time. So you need to kind of either focus one or the other. And so in a few of the practice moves here, practice focusing on the straight leg kick. And again, the sword is coming up the same angle as the foot. So don't Stop the leg off. Okay, so from here, you can kind of start from this position because from as you do the turn in here and you do the wrap, you'd be in this position here. Also, as you do the sword, this left hand from this posture here as you doing the wrap will end up following basically the sword uh, from here, right about there as it catches up. So there's a lot of things to remember in this uh, one sequence, okay? So from, we'll take it from the crane and then coming up and from here. So we should start from this to practice this one little sequence here and just do the step out.
And so as you're doing this uh, swing here, you want to like let that sword swing up. Again, you're going to have to do the kick at the same time. So when the kick come, as the kick comes back down is when you come back into the cap. So from here, okay, from here, and then into the cap. So I think that if you practice that over and over, so you can do from here, the turn into the position here, then from here. Then as you practice the swing up, come back down into the cap. Go here, do the crane stance, wrap. After a while, your body will kind of understand the flow. To practice that second portion from here, it's just a slice and then a wrap. Slice and the wrap for the sword movement. And you should be pretty familiar with that movement, but it's in time with a kick. So just like we practiced in the beginning of the down down form uh, way back, we practice this backward stepping motion. Here you're kind of stepping forward as you're doing the kick and then down. This is moving forward with the same slice. So when you come into this position here, and then this position here, okay, so coming up with that uppercut, kick, and into this position, you can step forward with this leg to get the momentum as you do the slice and the wrap, okay, so you can practice again from here, the first kick, here, and then the second kick. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit the... okay, from here, the uppercut, and then step forward. So if you just practice each one of these over and over, I think that'll uh, help you out in your training. For the fourth move from here, when you're in the cap, you're going to step forward with the right foot as you do the forward slice. You do forward slice, wrap, back down. Slice, wrap, back down. Slice, and at the same time, you're going to do the kick as you do the slice. So from here is step here. So all together it looks like this. From here, pivot the foot, crane and block, wrap, straight leg kick, step forward, and come back down. Remember after the slice, to do the vertical wrap. Okay, one more time. From here, pivot the foot, crane and block, wrap, Slice, okay, step forward, slice again, as you come back down to the cat. That's the four moves of the next uh, part. So we do it together, I think uh, facing this way. So we're gonna go from the cat's neck. So from here, we're gonna do like the last similar exercise we did. We're gonna do the block with the knee and then horizontal strike. Then you're going to block behind you with a sword, low, and then do the wrap, blade hand. From here, pivot, crane and block, wrap, scissors, straight leg kick. Step forward, straight leg kick. 
Okay, we'll do a little bit faster. And here, step one, step two, step three, step four. Okay, good luck with that. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.